Right. That's where you get your LEDs out of these wee lights in the pawn shop. The wee ones you plug into USB at one end and LED at the other end, so you just want to get a wee blade or something like that. Click a plastic cover off like that. And then this is just set on, so just pull that out like that. You can see there's a red and a black wire holding or supplying the electricity. So what you do now is <coughs> snap that off here with a pair of nuppers. Where's my nuppers? Jeez, I lost them right now. Oh, there they are down there. So you just want to nup that off here. Nup it a good bit up because see on here there's a molded plastic and it keeps the two wires from you can't get them out in other words so if you nip it a wee bit up though the wires are free so just set up top so that's that USB nipped off and then your wire should be free in there. Just give it a wee poke a wee drill bit or something just to make sure. So that should just pull out now. As you can see. And then you don't want the rest of it. And then see this switch here? You, well, you can keep it on if you want. Depends where you're mounting it. But I'm mounting it flush. So I, I need these lights to be as flat as possible. So I normally take that switch off. So what you do is there's a wee bit of glue holding it there. So just, just do that there to free the glue. And then pick the glue off. And then to get the switch off, just lean on it like that. That's it off. You're going to want to solder these now between this contact and this contact. Put a wee bit of solder and that'll, that'll activate the, the light constant. Anyway, let's go on. I'll just, I'll just turn this light on here. Get an extra light on this situation. So, I have a power supply here. It's just a USB. USB lead um, paired back. And the, the black and red are the power. So, what you want to do is Plug it up, plug your power on, connect your wires up like that. Let's we'll see if you can see that. Just twist them around like that. The red and then the black. And that's it, that's the power hooked up. Right. I removed the wee switch. There used to be a wee switch on here, I'll show you now. The wee switch sat there. My wee light switch on it, but I don't need that, so I just broke that off. So I'm just going to make the connection now. So what you want to do is put a wee bit of flux on here, just using a paintbrush or something. And I'll move that right here, as you can see. So a wee bit of flux on here, and your shoulder. Shoulder, I I do that wee bit of solder hat. I'll use this wee bit here. I lost my main bit of solder. So anyway, here goes. So keep it powered up, because whenever you get the right connection, the light should light. So here we go. Solder should melt any second. There we go. Oh, solder. There we Alright, 
Not now. So let it cool now. That's your connection made. So what I do now is I get a wee test of uh, araldite or whatever you call it, uh, epoxy, epoxy resin. So just get a wee dab on there like that, and then a wee dab of the hardener. Mix it round like that, and then plop it on top of your shoulder. I'll just stop the connection breaking in the future. So, me a bit of glue on there. The glue doesn't conduct the electricity, so you're not going to. Doesn't matter what you put on, it'll not really wreck your connection. So, that's your wee light now, lad. I've blue tagged the table. Sticky tag, or whatever you call it. So, that's your wee four lights there. I'll show you the next stage now. So I just thought I would use these wee covers. That's the wee covers that came off them. Um, see the wee... The wee lights just come through them, so... I've just blue tacked the five of them, the table. So I'm going to mix up a test of adhesive now and just... Set them on. Set each one on on first like that. Okay. That one's there on my round. I'll put it round that way. Three. Four. Five. So I'll just show you now how I'm going to fix them. They click on a wee bit, but. They'll fall out if I don't, if I don't do something. So I'll show you now in a minute. Just need a couple of holes in this now. So. A wee short screws like that, and just enough to get under the plastic. That should screw it home for you. Just wee bits of glass cut up. As you can see, if I'm all painted, but I'm just going to show you what to do. Just get a wee glass cutter. Look out there. Just do that there, yeah. The pimp roller. Just give them a wee light covering of yellow. Let them dry. So this is how I plan to fix them. I've got my wee bit of glass that I showed you painted. Uh, that's the painted side. I'm going to keep the painted side up. Um, I put a bit of gaffer tip on here. <clears throat> in the meantime. I'm just going to mix up enough uh, enough of this filler, just to dab each side, and then I'm going to apply it to the light to give it a to give it that warm yellow glow that I'm looking for. As I was saying, the the glow at the minute is like a white glow, which is isn't what I'm looking for. But some people, some people. The, the white might suit some people, you know, so you, you won't have to do this stage, but, uh, here goes. Right, so just get, get four wee dabs and put them in each corner. Try not to put it too close to the centre, because that's where the light's going to be, obviously, you know, so. We dab on there. You can peel the tip off them when you're finished. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I don't have all I use for. Just to balance it. 
bit too much of that stuff in there. Let's move that over with your finger. If you damp your finger, it just doesn't stick to it. So there we go, that's where we four wee blobs. So, I don't know if you can see that their lights shining in the back there, but I'm just going to stick this over the light now. I'll show you the end when I finish. Just going to stick it in. Right. I'm going to see. I get down here. Position it directly over the light. It actually doesn't matter if the glass leans on the light. So just push that up as tight as possible. And tip it with a cello tip. That's your toilet to the adhesive dries. <laughs> Hard to see during the day, look at that there. I'll give that a, a, a yellow a yellow glow. At night, when you come on, you. you can see. Mm, it's not very hard if I do this. Thing. Let's see. I'll just do that. Just hope for the best. There you go. Let's turn the light off. Let's sit there now. Let's see. I don't know if that'll turn out. There you go. So I'm just going to turn these lights on now to show you how the filter worked out here. That's a yellow filter, the one I just applied and that's before and after. So that's great, thanks for watching that. So about the electricity, the power, about the power supply to the lights. I just use standard USB leads that you have lying about the house. Everybody's got them. Look, USB one end, money USB the other end. Everybody's got millions of them. So just cut this off here, this part, and then you're left with this. And uh, the wires on here are very thin. So just track it with a wee knife like that. Pull the plastic off. And you're left with, you're normally left with four wires because um, this is a power supply only. This one here will have four wires on it, but all you're interested in is the two, the red and the black. That's where the power is. So just trim back your red and the black. When you're doing this, you'll feel, when you're running the knife around it like that, you'll feel the wire hitting or the knife hitting the wire, that's when they stop, because if you cut any further through, you'll just cut the wire off. So just track it like that, and drag it up, and then you're left with your power supply, that's your power supply, red and black. Right there, so that powers your lights. So I'm going to show you up here now, how I've actually powered it, I should have took that TV off before I, before I showed you. Let's take this fake TV down here. So, each light is powered by a USB. So, I'm going to show you up here now. I'm actually going to use this wheat. We light here just to use as we light this day. Should we have a situation up here? Right, so as I showed you, this end here powers the light, and then I've got each one cut off, joined them in a junction box, as you can see the wee red and red and black wire. So that is running to the light down at the plant. So I just used speaker wire to make the connection between this, between here and the lights. And then here's where the power, the lights are powered. 
each light plugs on the USB port actually the way I have it done at the moment I have it I have one of them running to here and two of them running to here and a wee adapter here but it still works like but <coughs> it's not ideal but I actually had two of these but I broke one and dropped it on the floor and smashed it um, so this here socket here is switched it goes to this light switch here this one <coughs> which turns them on and off as you can see uh, they're on there now. Um, done it on a two way switch I just looked it up on YouTube how to do it it's actually there's the main power here the, going to here and then that goes to here which is switched whenever I turn the switch on and off it disables the power to these two plugs and it switches the lights on and off so simple as that so when you think about the fact that that's only running at 4 watts it's very energy efficient as well plus each one of those lights only cost me a pound so and that's here about three pounds so the whole lot cost about ten pounds there's a bit of time involved in it like but so I just thought I would show you that there as I say that's one of the lights I use there one of them wee flexible pound shop USB lights I showed you that earlier on but there you go thanks for watching and that's the way it worked out there in the end up I'm, I'm following this during the day so it won't look as good as it does at night but you get the idea thanks for watching I hope that inspires somebody.